And they say when you want a great guest for your show, get Miss Phyllis Diller. my hair looks so bad. The kids did it with a meat hook. <laughs> There's just one thing about my hair, I'll never lose it. It's not it on the inside of my head. <laughs> I try so hard to look good. When I go to bed at night, I've got so much grease on my body, I wear snow chains to hold up my gown. <laughs> I'm suing the beauty rest mattress people. 25 years on that lump, and look at me. <laughs> women have a vanity table. I have a humility counter. <laughs> I'm the only woman in America who can walk through Central Park at night and reduce the crime rate. <laughs> <laughs> they shoot the old movie stars through gauze. They shoot me through tile. <laughs> and what about all that nudity in pictures nowadays? In the old days, when a star's beauty began to fade, she'd have a little facelift. What a <laughs> never wake up. I had a friend who had the big lift job, you know, where they start at the waist while they brought it all up. They had so much left over, they built five ears. <laughs> she hears great, but she looks horrible. <laughs> she always has one earring left over. I'll tell you, I'm looking so bad. If the bags under my eyes get much bigger, I'll have a use for my old bras. <laughs> ship tattooed on my chest. Heck, I wanted something on it. <laughs> I think I'm overdressed. This is my slip. <laughs> my body's in such bad shape, I wear prescription underwear. <laughs> I love this dress. In fact, I just had it simonized. <laughs> it's the only one the burglars left. <laughs> no wonder we're robbed all the time. Our watchdog is a coward. Rin Tin Dum Dum. <laughs> he's yellow, he's pure chicken. Fang went at him with a gun, he laid an egg. <laughs> All yolk. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a German shepherd who bites his nails? <laughs> and barks with a lisp? He's nothing but a fur-covered kidney that barks. <laughs> the only way we know we got a robber in the house, squish, squish. <laughs> Our last burglar drowned. <laughs> the only smart thing about the dog when I say heel, he goes straight over to Fang. never moves. He, he, yesterday he yelled at me all day, don't bother me, I'm under a lot of pressure. <laughs> Three quilts and a blanket. <laughs> He's never seen money. One day I gave him a dollar bill, he sat down and colored it. <laughs> his breath is so bad, the dentist works on him through his ears. I feel sorry for people who work in offices. Do you know that all they do is take up collections? The other day, a friend of mine had to fork over for a going-away gift for cyclamates. <laughs> One day, a man passed out in the office. We had a bouquet on his desk, beautiful flowers on his desk, before he hit the ground. Because <laughs> I have to admit, his case was very exceptional. He fell out the window. He's never had to put up with things like that. He won't work on any week with a Monday in it. <laughs> He's as happy as a Cuban with a new airplane. <laughs> you gotta hand it to that silly Castro. He took a little teeny country like Cuba and made it into the world's largest airport. 
<laughs> there are three ways to go now. Tourist, first class, prisoner. <laughs> At a ticket counter the other day, a guy rushed up and said, I'll take two chances on Miami. <laughs> Last week, a little old lady on a Boston to New York flight held the entire crew at bay with a knitting needle and forced the pilot to fly her to a rest home in Peoria. Everybody on the airlines are so jumpy. I, I got up to go to the John one day and the whole crew surrendered. Got up before the sun, traveled all day long, but nothing can go wrong, cause you're going home, going home. Just a lonesome whistling wind, blowing through the trees, that's all you need. Marlboro Country. Marlboro Country is everywhere. Across this great wide land, no matter where you roam, you're bound to end up home, going home, going home. Come to Marlboro Country. Well, I've been cutting up a little. <laughs> I can't say to blame you. Well, you know, I'm afraid we started something with that sketch, Jim. What? Oh, heavens, now all the shows will want me to wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Phyllis, you're beautiful and a lovely guest, just like you are. Oh, Jim, you never were too clever. <laughs> <laughs> no, you really do look nice. Oh, my hair usually looks like Tiny Tim with a short and his electric ukulele. <laughs> but you look nice, you know, with a pretty hat and a blouse and uh, one of those mini skirts. Oh, I can't wear mini skirts. Why not? My legs don't go all the way up. Tell <laughs> us no matter what they say. <laughs> you may not be glamorous like some gals are glamorous but your look is quite enough suits me fine you may not be as clever as some men i've met but those i've met i soon forget you're not always putting on like some gals are putting on solid ground your foot is on Have you had enough yet? Oh, when does a woman ever get enough water? <laughs> Come on, help me more. Okay, that'll be easy. Here we go. Your voice may have chaff in it, but that's just the half of it. Cause that happy laugh in it suits me fine. You may not act exactly like Olivia. When 